Some blood banks across the country are offering free antibody tests to donors. But with so many people getting vaccinated, are those tests still useful? Brandon Lewis verifies. A COVID antibody test can be a useful tool for doctors, but with more people getting vaccinated, Nate Silver, the founder of 538, asked in a tweet with almost 1,500 likes, is it possible to tell the difference between vaccine and COVID antibodies? So Nate, let's verify. Our sources are pathologist Dr. Omid Bakhtar, the Food and Drug Administration, and Dr. Amish Adalja at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Both doctors explained the COVID-19 antibody test was created in the early days of the pandemic as a way for doctors to diagnose if someone previously had coronavirus. It looked for antibodies to the nucleocapsid protein, which only appears in those who recover. Later on, as the vaccines were created, researchers wanted a way to determine if they were taking hold within a person's immune system. Since the vaccines don't use the real virus, they can't use the nucleocapsid test. Instead, the vaccines contain a spike protein, so a separate antibody test was created to check for that. However, the FDA says neither of these tests should be used to evaluate a person's level of immunity or protection from COVID-19 until more research is done. For the general public, from a diagnostic perspective, antibody tests are not particularly helpful. Unfortunately, again, we just don't have the data to show that a number uh, would be equal to protection uh, in all scenarios. So it's true. It is possible to tell the difference between vaccine antibodies and COVID antibodies, even if it's still unclear how many antibodies a person needs to fight off an infection. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And if there's something you want us to verify, send us an email to verify at 12newsnow.com or you can always direct messages on social media.